Hello everyone, welcome to Mixing the Box. And today we have FabFilter Pro Q3, the in-depth plugin review. So here we have the open UI of the of the plugin. Up here we have the presets. Opening up, I have a couple of presets that I created myself for my own productions and stuff. And also I have a copy of FabFilter Pro Q2 and this other the presets some of them are created too and some of them are stock so let me close that part and up here we have the a b button switches of the plugin and then this is the undo and the redo button and then on the right side we have the full screen button here and then here we can actually change the view of the ui using this And also on the right we have a meter. Down here we have the volume. I think it's the output button. So here we have the output button and different controls here. There's also the output pan, the output level. And then you, you can also choose if you want it mid side, left, right. And then this is the gain scale. And if you look up here, you're going to see this different pop-ups that tell you what the button or the slider knob or whatever you've been seeing there, it's going to tell you what it, what it actually does. And then we have a button here for auto gain and the first inversion button. And then this one is the output meter button. So if I click it, the meter goes off. And if I click it again, the meter comes back. Here, if I click the A, it's going to it's gonna be automatic gain. And here's the phase inversion. Next to it right here, this button that I just clicked right here is the global bypass button. And then on the left side is the analyzer. So on the analyzer, you can see different stuff here. You can see the freeze button you can see the spectrum grab button and then here you can see the collisions and also on the right it can tell you the range the resolution speed and tilt of the of the signal that's going to be in here and then here you have the eq match so here if you want to put put references you can so let's read this to start eq match first run audio through the plugin to use as the input signal or to save as a future reference spectrum so let me let me play it let's see how this works out To be honest, I don't really know what it's actually doing. So the EQ match, I don't understand it yet. So I just have to go through it and understand it. So here I can edit the, the name of the sample from Cymatics. And then here I can choose whether I want the UI to show me the pre or the post or both. And also the, the side chain. So let me go to the other ones down here. I want this one, yeah, external spectrum off. So here, which with each and every one of them, let me just play the signal and then you can see what this one does on its own. What the uh, the the analyzer free. So let me play it. Hey, 
As you can see, the signal is frozen on the UI. So the plugin freezes the the peaks and the, the troughs here from the lows to the highs. And then I'm gonna switch that off. And then I'm gonna switch this one off. It's the spectrum grab. So let me let me play it and then you're gonna see what it actually does to the signal. So as you can see, the highest peaks are, are, are highlighted and then I can just pull them up and down and cut, boost and dynamically EQ. As you can see here, let's say the on, on, on 600, it's compressing. See this, this is the compression. At the same time, I'm boosting this particular frequency. And at, at the same time, I'm compressing it. EQ, compression. And I can further edit it by using the Q just to narrow it down. This EQ is crazy.